Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kingfisher's Trace Clinic. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bridle rig a circle hook for tuna. Starting off, what we require, FC fluorocarbon, 60 pound, 60 mustard tuna circle, our number four power swivel, a lighter, mustard scissors, and these are braid scissors by the way, simple cable tie, the thinner the better, and some holocore, braid, dacron, anything along those lines, 100 pound and 130 pound doesn't really make a difference. That's very important. To start off with, we take our FC fluorocarbon, about a meter in length, 1.2, doesn't really make a difference. It's up to the individual how long he actually wants to make his trace. I like it about one, 1 1.2 meters. We're going to take our 60 mustard tuna circle <coughs> and I'm just going to quickly snell it. To snell the 60 mustard tuna circle, all I'm going to do is take the fluorocarbon, insert it from the bottom coming up. I'm going to give myself quite a bit to work with here. I'm going to wrap it around my finger and the actual hook shank itself. So all I'm going to do is go around one two, three, four times. Take the tag end and go through the back like so. And then all I'm doing is using my hand, these three fingers here, to actually pull the fluorocarbon back towards myself. Keeping, and this is the important part, all four of those next to one another. Okay, so just keep attention on the tag end and we just keep on going, keep on going. And you can see it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Towards the end, all I'm going to do is just insert it into my teeth, hold it, and pull tight. Slide it down, and again. And there it is there. Lubrication, before I pull tight. And there we go, there's a completed snell. Now all I'm going to do is cut off the tag end of the, the fluorocarbon, <coughs> pull the knot as tight as I can, stretch out the fluorocarbon, there we go, I'm going to take my power swivel, I'm just going to open it quickly, this is the number four power swivel, there we go, I like to keep my swivels very small so that it's less obtrusive in the water and doesn't throw such a big bubble trail as well. Okay, here we go. And to tie it, we're just gonna do a figure of eight. So all I've done is gone through the eye of the swivel. I'm gonna stick my finger in the front and I'm just gonna wrap behind the nylon. One, two, three. Take the tag in, stick it in and pull it out. And again, all I'm gonna do is just open it up, lubricate pull tight and then slide down. Now to make sure that my knot is properly tied, I'm going to just stick my circle hook into it. Gives me something to hold on to. And pull tight. Cut off the tag end. And there we go. So that's basically <coughs> my trace. Simple as you can see. Now, to do the bridle rig part of it, I'm just going to take a bit of holoco braid or dacron. And for this, I'm going to put my glasses on too. Take a lighter, very important. Melt the one side of it. Cut, and I'm just going to measure. Yeah five centimeters. So there's five centimeters of braid. I'm going to 
melt the other side. There we go. So you can sit and make a whole lot of these before you go out. Put them in a little plastic packet, keep them in your ice cream container or whatever it is that you've got your traces or your hooks in. Now to actually do this, all we're gonna do is take, I'm just gonna clear out the spaces so you can see nicely. The eye of the hook, the nose, the point of the hook. Take the point of the hook, insert it into the braid, like that. Before you get to the bob, all you do is you just turn it around again and pull it straight through the braid again. So basically, I've gone through it twice. So you can see I've gone through it twice. Now all I do is I slide it over the, the actual uh, bob of the hook. I then go back through again. And of course, the end piece, I insert into it once again. Slide both pieces back down over the actual bob, like so, to form basically the bridle part of it. So that is it there. Simple as that guys, that's all I'm doing. Okay. So now guys, what we have is a cable tie and preferably a thin one not too much, uh, not a fat one. Um, it just constricts the movement a bit. Take your scissors and you cut your cable tie at an angle like that to form a very sharp point. Very important because you're going to have to insert that into your bait. And how we do it is we take our mozzie like so, take our cable tie and on the top part where the eye is, over there, that's a hard bone area. We insert our cable tie. We insert the cable tie just above the actual head and we push it through on the outside, like so. We then take our bridle rig, stick that through. Take our cable tie and insert it and pull tight. Take our scissors, cut off, and there we have it. There's our bridled live mozzie. Ideal for catching tuna. Throw your mozzie into the water and he'll swim around. And of course, your circle looks sitting proud. The tuna will inhale it. It's got enough movement. So when it comes out again, the treble look gets it, gets your tuna on the side of the mouth. It's very simple. It works extremely well. A lot of movement, as you can see. And that's very simply how we bridle rig a mozzie for tuna. That's how we bridal rig a mozzie for catching queen fish. That's it guys, it's as simple as that. There's my live bait, ready to swim, ready to fish for catching uh, tuna or queen fish. Done.